Hey, this is Wolf from Barefoot Bushcraft, and we are here today to talk about the Acropolis RM1 pack made in the Ukraine. As always, I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video. I am a self-professed pack whore, which means I love packs. I have so many different packs. I have my favorite packs. I have packs that might replace the favorite packs. I have packs for day hikes. I have packs for overnight hikes. I have packs for three day, for five day, for seven day, you name it. I've got a pack for all of it, and I absolutely love packs. Um, so I have a bunch of them. Of course, one of my favorite packs is the LK35. Um, but you'll have some videos on that, of course, if you scroll through our channel. But today, we are here to talk about the Acropolis RM1. It is a beautiful pack. It has absolutely gorgeous styling on it. I mean, it, it looks very, very old-fashioned, very hip. Um, it is made out of a waxed cotton, so it is waterproof right from the factory, which is kind of cool. It has all the leather trim bits and parts on it. It, which makes it just kind of nice. It has the Acropolis logo right there. Kind of like that. Like I said, I really what attracted it to me uh, was the styling of the pack. It has some really neat features in it, including um, holding a gun, which we'll get into in a little bit. It is uh, claims to be a 28 liter pack, so that means it has a carrying capacity of 28 liters. Um, I don't know what that would be if you are uh, if you don't understand metric, uh, maybe around five gallon. I don't really know, something like that. Uh, but let's take a look at the pack. So it has this uh, really cool style of connector right there. So you just pull that up and that opens up. That's very reminiscent of uh, a military style pack, have that exact kind of connection. So it goes on there, has a bit of a roll buckle on it, if you can see that right there. So when you drop this uh, piece of leather in, it's going to roll to make it a nice smooth connection. So it has one pack in here, again one strap, that strap is for a rifle, which we will get into. Um, you, it also has, so it has the top load here, it has the side load, so you can get into it here, so you have a little pocket there. Then it has this zipper right here at the bottom. This zipper actually holds what becomes the pouch of the rifle. So if I reach in here, push this out, this is where the rifle butt goes, just like this. So now the pack, uh, basically what it does is it elongates the length of this pack and allows the rifle to hang out at the bottom. But we'll try that out after we take a look at some of its other features. So we'll zip that back up right now. All the zippers, really nice quality zippers. They're an olive color, so they match the canvas pack. They have little tags on them, uh, so there's less to break. So again, it's a Bergen style pack, and I really love the Bergen style. I love the pockets on the outside. So you have your main pouch right here, which has a full buckle system. You can open the buckle system and you can pop it open. All right, has a toggle to keep it closed or open as much as you need to. And then inside it has ample space, lots and lots of space inside. If you open it up, nothing fancy in it um, other than big, huge open sack that you can put in. On the bottom of the sack though right there it's a little bit uh, insulated which is nice so it has like a, a foam in there so when you throw it on the ground or whatever assuming you put it on the ground um, it's going to have a, a little bit of um, foam in there just to keep it sort of um, from anything pushing through it or scratching through it or anything hard on the ground pushing in through the bottom of the pack. Uh, so it has your giant single compartment right there. Stitching seems very nice. I'm certainly not an expert on stitching but the stitching is there. It seems to do what it needs to do. So you can close the top of the pack like this. Top flap, if you can see right here, has a zipper. So if we open the top flap zipper, you have a little pouch in there for you know anything that you need to access quickly. It can only be accessed from the inside, so it can't be accessed from the outside. Uh, we can zip that by back up with the little buckle there, buckle it back up. Now we got our pack closed. Again, Bergen style. My favorite style of pack is the Bergen. Uh, it's a British design. And so you have a pouch right here. And then you have your two side pouches, one on each side. Again, they have that nice little roll buckle thing right there. So it closes, it opens, just like that. Uh, this is a really great pack for like a day pack. Uh, I guess you could definitely do an overnight on it. Um, yeah, but I, I really like this. Like I said, what, what really attracted me to it um, was the style of the pack, that kind of old fashioned, uh, rugged, outdoorsy look. Um, yeah, so it's a good pack. It also has little zippers on the sides too. Let's take a look what happens when you open that zipper. Is it an extra pocket? It is an extra pocket. So you kind of have your large pocket on the side here, 
One of the notable features that I really like about this is that the pocket closure has Velcro on it. So this Velcro right here closes the pouch so nothing is going to fall out if this isn't if this falls open or if it's not connected or you have smaller items in there so you open it and now you can get inside it it has the addition of another pocket here so you've got two side pockets this one is for smaller thinner items i don't know map or something like that so you've got the little pocket and the big pocket nice it's nice and it feels really good it feels like it's really nice heavy canvas and i really like the like the feel of that it's not a terribly terribly heavy pack i'm sorry i don't have the exact weight of the empty pack flipping it over has nice uh nice wide straps they are padded straps which is nice they are attached here at the top has a nice carry loop which is a very important feature for a pack you want to be able to grab that pack and you want to be able to pick the pack up uh down at the bottom here has the same nice connections there little x x loop right in the webbing adjustable webbing couple of things that I would have liked to have seen in this pack that it doesn't have. So number one, it doesn't have the uh, the waist belt, whatever you want to call that. There's different names people use for it. So it has no waist belt, no waist strap on it. It also doesn't have the sternum strap or the chest strap, which should go right here. Um, I, I like that because I find the way my body is built, I like that it cinches, um, but it doesn't cinch because it's missing a sternum strap. Yes, I could definitely add them. That's not the problem, uh, but it doesn't come from this pack. Uh, and it has these little V things. These are, of course, this is uh, the same. It has that kind of foam inlay inside it. And what that's designed for is just for comfort. So if you put something, um, you know, I don't know, spiky or whatever in the back or something won't push through. Um, it does not have any kind of spot for a hydration bladder. So if that is a feature that you were looking for, is a secondary inside pocket to hold the hydration bladder, you will not find it in this pack. So you open it up and it just has the single compartment inside. There's no frame in this pack, so it is frameless. So I can give it a hug like this and there's no frame. That is a feature I do like in a pack, but that's okay. So no frame in that guy. So that's basically the pack from the outside. Again, it has a multitude of outdoor pockets, right? It has this, this big pocket in the front, little teeny pockets, three of those. So one small pocket here, one small pocket here and here, the large deeper pockets, and of course, um, this inside pocket right here on the top, and then it has the closure. So now we're gonna get to the feature that I actually bought this, uh, thinking it might be a good range bag. So it has, like I said, the great feature of once it's put together, we'll put that buckle on there. If you can flip this open and pull down the bottom here, and it pulls out, the rifle strap. So let's mount a rifle in here and see how it feels. So I got my uh, old musket here. It's a, a this, for those who are interested, it's an SIS Enfield style musket, uh, 69 caliber. What I really love about this one, even though it's a smooth bore, is all the carvings on it. Anyways, we're not here to talk about rifles. Um, so in the top here, you lift this up, drop your rifle right in there. And there we go. It's supposed to be a rifle pack. That one has here, your connection's one, and it's supposed to just kind of hold it on. Now, I, I really, as soon as I did this, I saw a huge shortcoming in the way the thing is built. So there's another strap right here. So it's designed, I guess, to be a hunting pack is what they actually call it uh, on, the, on the website. So let's get this done up. So here it is as the, as the range bag, as the rifle holder. The rifle is fastened in there as much as it's gonna fasten in, um, but it's really sloppy. And that was a real disappointment to me is how it was just really super sloppy in there. Um, I mean, unless the pack is completely filled with stuff, it's gonna be sloppy and it's gonna like jerk all over the place. Um, yeah, I'm not really happy with that at all. I'm gonna put it on uh, and demonstrate what that looks like so you can kind of see uh, what I'm talking about, that it certainly wouldn't be a very comfortable carry for carrying kilometers and kilometers into the woods with the with the rifle in this, in this holder configuration. So as I say, the first thing that I, I noticed when I put the pack on is that there's no real way to cinch it. So there's no real way to grab this, to cinch it nice and snug for myself um, or no sternum strap. Uh, something that can definitely be added, but it doesn't come with the pack if that's a thing. Uh, the other thing Thing as well like I said I have my rifle on and when I do this you can see like it bobs all over the place 
really not happy with that. Um, I, I wouldn't be comfortable with that at all. It's also unfortunately designed so that the rifle has to go in barrel up, which I suppose is great if you have all your modern sporting hunting rifles. But this configuration is not great for a muzzle loader when all kinds of stuff can go down the barrel. Um, not what I would want at all, but I can certainly carry it barrel up, I guess, if I wanted. Um, so yeah, I'm not really happy with that wavy. You can see the way it just flies all over the place, right? Um, maybe if it was filled with stuff, it would be fine. It also doesn't stay straight up. You can see it kind of is sagging to one side or the other. Um, at this point, uh, to do a wilderness carry, I would just have the, the rifle on a strap and carry it on my front versus in this pack. Uh, but you know, maybe you have to have it in a pack due to your local laws or whatever. So I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's the downfall of it. It was designed uh, as a range bag, as a hunting bag. I'm not really happy or comfortable using it for those purposes uh, just because I don't like that weird sagginess of it. And again, you can see it just sort of, yeah, that's not what I would want happening to my, to my muzzle loading firearm if I was out uh, in the wilderness. But otherwise, it is a beautiful pack. Now that the pack is off, you can kind of see this, like, I don't know, maybe if it had like another strap on there or if I put this, uh, you know, maybe I could loop that around. That would probably work to keep it nice and straight. But then I have this gaping pocket here. Um, I would have to fold that over too. I don't know. It's just not an ideal configuration uh, for what I had hoped it to use it for. But as a pack for day hikes and stuff like that, beautiful, beautiful pack. I really, uh, I'm happy with it. I love the pack. Just a little sad that this weird configuration for the rifle, which is what it was intended for, um, is just, again, not something that I was really, I don't know. It was well thought out. I just maybe think that the rifle system should have been a little bit built differently. Maybe they've come out with a new version of it. But uh, yeah, so that is a quick review of the Acropolis uh, RM1 28 liter pack. Good pack, love the pack, beautiful material, nice uh, stitching on it, which basically, like I said, I'm not a stitch expert, but there's no fraying in the stitching or anything like that. Uh, so good system, love the pack. I want to thank you so much um, for tuning into this video. I am Wolf for Barefoot Bushcraft. I'll put all of our social media stuff right there for you. So you've got your uh, Facebook, you've got your Instagram, you can look at all our fancy pictures, and of course down at the bottom if you're interested in coming out for any of our courses on homesteading, bushcraft, survival, archery, axe throwing, to go to barefootbushcraft.com. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. Please consider subscribing.